Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Monday, and the date is 15th of February 2021. We're going to learn about rock, but before that, can you tell me why we are learning about rocks or why rocks are important? Why rocks are important? For what? Because I know. You can start, Tala. Because, like, there is some, like, animals, like, insects that live in rocks. Okay. There are some insects lives in rocks. Okay. What do you think, guys? Why rocks are important? Build houses. Very um, nice. Yes, someone else. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. Someone else, please. Tell me, what do you think about rocks? Why we are learning about rocks or why they are important? Take a look at this picture. Hmm. Take a look at this picture over here. Which one? All of it. All okay. of it. What do they, yes, yeah, Maria. What do they do with like, rocks? Maybe they like build build stuff like um Yes. Excellent. They build, they build buildings sometimes with rocks. With what, what about the pyramids? The Egyptian pyramids. They are made of what? Rocks and sand. Rocks and sand, yes, limestone. Why limestone? Because limestone already are made from sand. Sand, small sand cemented together. We call it a limestone. They went through a chemical process. So they were cemented together. And finally, they made the pyramids. What else? Hmm, what else? It can make building materials such as cement, which are made of what, basically? Cement. Cement is basically made of what? Of chocolate? Hmm. Cement. No. Huh. I wish it was made ice of cream? <laughs> no, not ice cream. It's made of Soup. limestone. No, it's... Excellent, from rocks. They are mainly or basically made from rock cement. Cement, they are basically made from rocks. Yes, limestone is a type or an example of a cemented rock, Sia Maria. You are correct, you are right. Excellent. Many mountains are made of marble. And marble is a metamorphic rock. You you seen you have seen marbles. I'm very sure you have seen marbles. Have you yes. ever seen? Yes. Um, maybe houses now yes, have have. marbles in their houses. And these these marbles are basically I love marbles. Yes, basically marbles, they are made of what? Which kind of rock? Um, it's made of uh, limestone. No, limestone or cemented. Marble, marble rocks. <laughs> okay, they are. Are they igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary? Um, Based on the colors and the shape and how. Sedimentary. No, it's made of metamorphic rock. It is a changeable rock. Yes. Now, a rock to be formed, we said it needs high pressure and high temperature. Is that right? This is in first place. After that, metamorphic needs to change the form over and over again. Okay, how can it change the form? 
with wind, with water. Sometimes water goes inside these rocks with high pressure, with high temperature. They can change the shape of the rock or the texture of the rock or even the type of mineral inside the rock. So it will give it a different colors and a different shape. And the more it come uh, it changed the more it will become colored and looks more beautiful see look at these rocks all these rocks are what are metamorphic why you feel that they have changed many times many times not only once they are not uh, only lava and magma only cooled down and hardens and they become a very hard rock and black and they look ugly but the beautiful rocks are usually metamorphic what do i mean by metamorphic one last time it's a greek word means what um are they cemented together metamorphic yeah no did they cool down and harden no what about yeah. changing yeah. forms did they change forms yeah. yes and metamorphic yeah. means changing forms over and over again. So in a short line, we're going to say that we use rocks to build places, mountains, pyramids, or sometimes they can be part of the building materials, such as cemented minerals inside rocks. We use them to make toothpaste. Look at this picture over here the hand holding toothpaste paste. This toothpaste includes a lot of minerals. They can they take it out from what? From rock, from rocks. They are extracted from where? From rocks. Okay, girls, this is why or how, uh, it is matter to learn about rocks or these are the uses of rocks. Sometimes people, they make jewelry out of rocks. Now let's learn the rock cycle. It is really easy. I just want you to follow the arrows and tell me. First arrow comes from where? Here, from this eruption. Who can tell me? Hello, Feroz. Yes, Feroz, the first one. Let's follow the line. Hmm. In which color should I draw with red so you, everyone can see? So the first one comes from this eruption. Yeah. Hmm. From this, and then it goes to the Angus entry rock. Excellent. Okay. Can you tell me what happens to become igneous rocks? Hmm. Um, it melts and cools. Melting and cooling make igneous rock. Excellent. Now, can you follow my line? What happened over here? Follow my line. It, okay. Uh, it said oh, weathering, erosion, and sediment. sedimentation. Sedimentation makes what? Makes sed sed sedimentary rock. Excellent, excellent. So this is always number one from the eruption, melting and cooling. When they are melting and cooling, with they become igneous, okay? But with weathering and erosion and cementation, they become sedimentary rock. Now let's choose another color. Go with me, yeah, Maria. Can you go with me, please? Now, yes. If this sedimentary rock Okay, they was weathering, erosion, and uh, cementation. Okay, this mm -hmm. is how they happened. What if, if they melt, melted, and cooled again? They will make what? See. Igneous. Igneous rock. 
Excellent. They will become igneous rock. Igneous rock. Now let's take another color, yeah, Maria, and follow with me. These melting and cooling rocks, they, we call it igneous. Again, from igneous, if we add up heat and pressure. Hmm. If we add up heat and pressure to it, what is going to happen? Metamorphic rock? Yes, I know. Metamorphic rock. Excellent, excellent, yeah, Maria. So with heat and pressure, what do you have? Metamorphic, Metamorphic rock. rock. Now, Tyler, go with me, please. Yeah, Tyler, I'm going to choose the color, the purple color. Now, these okay. metamorphic uh, rocks, if they had an erosion and cementation, they are going to become sedimentary rock. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Also, sedimentary rock, they can go back to be metamorphic. How, Yatalia? With what? By heat and pressure. Excellent, excellent. Now, Mariana, can you help me here, Mariana? I'm going to use the color, the pink color. Mariana, metamorphic. Yeah. Metamorphic rock. If they are melting and cooling, they are going to become. Hmm. No. If the metamorphic, look at the pink color. Metamorphic. If they are melting and cooling, they will become what? Igneous rock. Excellent, 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 yeah, Mariana. Very good. Okay, girls. Now, as a conclusion to our lesson. Let's see, what does igneous rock need? What does each one of these types they need? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna choose a color for each rock. Let's choose a color for each one. Do I have, um, let's see who's here, who's here? Haifa, can you help me here, Haifa? What? Can you help me here? I'm going to choose igneous rock and I'm going to give it the color pink. Okay? Okay. Now, igneous rock, do they need heat and pressure or melting and cooling? Melting and cooling. Excellent. So I'm going to circle all the melting and cooling with pink. So you know that igneous rocks, they need to be melted and cooled so they become igneous rock. Very good, thank you. Now let's choose another color. I'm gonna choose the blue color. Let's see who's here. I want Judy, can you help me out, Judy? Judy, can you answer with me please? We're going to follow the same thing. I'm going to give metamorphic rock a blue color. What does metamorphic rock need? Does it need weathering, erosion, and cementation, or heat and pressure? How can we form a metamorphic rock? Can you help me out, Judy? Maybe she's not ready. Let's see Tina. Tina, yeah, Tina. Yes. Okay, can you help me here, Tina? Metamorphic rock, okay? What do they need to be formed? Heat and pressure or weathering and erosion? Wait, can you say? Wait. So, igneous rocks, we said, how can they form? They form by cooling and melting from lava or magma, okay? They, be, they okay. become igneous. What about metamorphic? Is it heat and pressure or weathering and erosion? Heat and pressure. Excellent, so I'm gonna circle all the heat and pressure because all the heat and pressure, they lead you to the metamorphic rock. Excellent, thank you, Yatina. Thank you for your help, thank you. And finally, I have the sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock, what do they need? Who can tell me? Sed me, sediment Amal. 
Amal, tell me, Amal. Sedimentary rock. Boring erosion and cementation. I know, it's a little bit hard. Cementation. Excellent, yeah, Amal. Excellent. So now we have our three types of rocks and each one of them, what do they need? If you do this in your book, it's it's going to be become very easier for you to study. So you know, whenever a rock is going through weathering, erosion, or cementation, it's going to be which type? Which type? If I told you a granite, I gave you a name of a rock. A granite is going through weathering or erosion or even cementation. So which type it's going to be? Is it going to be metamorphic, igneous, or what? Who can tell me? Which type of rock it is if it's going through weathering? Hmm. Sedimentary. Excellent, yeah, Amar. Excellent. Now, Jude, Jude Sharif, tell me, if a rock is going through heat and pressure, any rock is going through heat and pressure, what is it? Which type? Heat and pressure. Is it igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic? Metamorphic. Excellent, metamorphic, very good. Okay, what do you realize from these process? That rock, rocks are always the same type or they are changeable? What do you think, Maria? Changeable. Excellent, who said changeable? Very good, who said that? Me, nice, yeah, Amal. Okay, Maria, what do you think? Each one of them, Ya Maria, can change to a different kind or it is impossible. Yeah. Or um can sedimentary type? okay. What? What did you say? They can? Yes, they can. So sedimentary rock, they can be metamorphic or they can be. Igneous. If I want them to be metamorphic, what are you going to do, Ya Maria? I want sedimentary to be metamorphic. You are going to add what? Heat and pressure. Excellent. If I want them to be igneous rocks, um, melting and cooling. They need to be melted and cooled. Excellent. Very good. Okay. What about metamorphic rock? If I want them to be sedimentary. I need weathering erosion. Excellent. Cementation. Cementation. Excellent. 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 Very good. That was all about our lesson. I hope, guys, it was a very uh, light one for you today and you enjoyed. Do you understand? Yes, it's yes. very easy. Do you Super. have any question? No, thank you. No. no. No, today's information, you know that most of jewelries are made of what? Pop. Yes, most of our jewelries are made of rocks and minerals. They are they are very different. Why? Because they have different types of minerals. So whenever you are um, looking at a jewelry and you you feel that they are looking so bright and nice and shiny, remember, guys, it is a rock. Eventually, it is a rock. <laughs> okay, it's guys. So cool. It's yes, it is. Jewelry. Yes, science is really cool. Yes, definitely. Once you understand how things are happening or how they are formed, yes, it becomes really cool. So I'm so uh, sure that tomorrow you and are so ready for really summit up. Hard to find. Yes, they are. The yes, yeah. they are they really hard find to find. It. And mm -hmm. rivers underground, I think so. Yes. And also and like very far away places and like sand, they mm -hmm. can find um, gold. 
and so much more. But I don't. I just know those two places. Yes, mining is not a, an easy job. Yes, <laughs> mining is not an easy job. Finding rocks and jewelries and minerals that are not an easy job, but they are possible. And they are cool. When you find them, you feel like you really find a treasure, found a treasure. And you accomplished something. Yes, yes. Really hard. That's right, that's right. That's why it's super teeny little tiny. <laughs> yes, they are super teeny tiny <laughs> particles. <laughs> okay, lovely. Yes. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. We'll see you, inshallah, tomorrow. One last thing please 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 try just okay. to read sum it up and brain check so tomorrow you are gonna okay. be ready okay my lovelies bye-bye see you tomorrow bye-bye